Hello, it's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Apple Container on a Mac. Let's get started. So Apple Containers is Apple's solution to running containers on macOS natively without needing a Linux virtual machine. And to do this, it uses the new container API that was introduced in macOS Tahoe. So you need to have macOS Tahoe or later in order to run this. So the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser and we're going to go to Apple Containers GitHub and then we're going to click on the latest release and then we're going to download the container installer package and then we're going to open it and then we're going to click continue and click on install enter our password and it's done. And now that we have Apple Container installed, we can open up a terminal. And the first thing that we want to do is start the background service. So to do this, we're going to type container system start. And then we need to download the kernel so we can just press enter. And it's done. So now we need to install a container. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to be using the Redis container. So the first thing that we need to do is pull the image. And to do this, we're going to type container image pull docker.io slash library slash redis colon latest and then we're going to press enter the next thing that we need to do is create the volume so to do this we're going to type container volume create redis and now we can create our container so to do this we're going to type container create dash dash name redis dash p 6397 colon 6397 dash v redis colon slash data redis colon latest and then press enter and that's it so now we can start the container by typing container start redis and to check the logs we can run container logs redis and there's our log and once we're done with the container we can type container stop redis and then to stop the container service we can run container system stop and there we go so that's it for this video thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe i'm theo from theo's tech tips and i'll see you next time bye